What's up guys, welcome to my channel Medicosis Perfectionalis. We have finished talking about leukemias and lymphomas. Let's turn our attention to multiple myeloma. But first, let's talk about an overview of myeloproliferative and lymphoproliferative disorders. But first, I want to say thank you to the few people that are supporting this channel on Patreon. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for your support. And if anybody would like to support my channel, go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. Actually, you can get all of my notes in a PDF form, like these notes that I'm writing right now. Okay, these notes for the videos and these illustrations. You can get them in one link. Just click on that link and then you can view them. You can download them, do whatever you want. So go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis if you are interested in supporting this channel. And now let's get started. So here is my famous hematopoiesis slide. If you have less red blood cells, this is anemia. Lots of red blood cells, this is polycythemia vera. Less white blood cells, this is leukopenia. Lots of white blood cells, this is leukocytosis. Same thing here, we have neutropenia, if they are low, and neutrophilic leukocytosis, if they are high in number. Then we go to the platelets, less platelets, thrombocytopenia. Lots of platelets, thrombocytosis. Let's go to the lymphoid lineage. You have B lymphocytes, T lymphocytes, and natural killer cells. So increased in lymphocytes could be lymphocytosis, leukemia, or lymphoma. Lymphocytosis could be polyclonal or monoclonal. Monoclonal is the cancer. Okay, a few number of lymphocytes. This is lymphopenia. Now, let's go to the B lymphocytes. They secrete cells called plasma cells. Increase in number of plasma cells is called plasma cell dyscrasia, such as multiple myeloma. Now, what's the difference between myeloproliferative and lymphoproliferative? If any of these cells are increased, this is myeloproliferative here we have lymphoproliferative. So, myeloproliferative, lymphoproliferative. Now, what's the definition? Myeloproliferative, your bone marrow is producing lots of red blood cells and or platelets and or white blood cells, such as monocytes, neutrophils, basophils, eosinophils, but not lymphocytes. Lymphoproliferative, on the other hand, your bone marrow is producing lots of lymphocytes. Except for anemia, all of hematology is condensed in this slide. We have proliferative disorders, hematological malignancies, marrow failure, benign leukocyte reactions. So my proliferative disorders are myeloproliferative or lymphoproliferative. Myeloproliferative disorder, there are six. Chronic myelogenous leukemia, polycythemia vera, essential thrombocythemia or, or essential thrombocytosis, primary myelofibrosis, mastocytosis, chronic neutrophilic leukemia. Any one of these can lead to acute myeloid leukemia, and then we will call it secondary AML in contrast with primary idiopathic AML. The lymphoproliferative disorders, we have the leukemias. Not all of them, the lymphoid leukemias. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia and chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Hairy cell leukemia, multiple myeloma and Waldenstrom microglobulinemia. Together, we can call these plasma cell dyscrasia also we can call them monoclonal gammopathy so monoclonal gammopathy is the same thing as plasma cell dyscrasia is the same thing as para protein emias don't ever forget that that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, Instagram. Please consider supporting this channel on Patreon. You can get access to all of my notes through Patreon. Thank you for watching Medicosis Perfectionalis. As always, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.